So I have this Valor BD62 cable machine and uh, right out of the box it comes with a one inch bar. I was trying to use it with bumper plates and had that weird little uh, connector. So on this cable machine I was hoping there was going to be an adapter available and sure enough there is. Uh, just had to do a little bit of digging. So I uh, find this adapter on Amazon. It's 12 inches long. It says it's for two inch plates. Um, I don't know if you can see right there. It says it's two inches wide. So I didn't see this part that said don't use it with bumper plates. Um, but I went ahead and bought it anyway. And uh, here's what wound up happening. Hope you enjoy it. Okay, let me just start off by saying you think you're going to buy something on Amazon, buyer beware. So I buy these sleeves, this thing here, this thing here, and it comes with all this stuff and other stuff. The guy ships it to me in this. Actually, I bought two of them. Bought two of them. Ships it to me. I get a notification from the post office. It's going to be $29 for them to deliver it because this guy used some this envelope which isn't the right envelope so now I have to go back and contact him to try to get my $29 out of this thing so that's not all so I buy them thinking they're going to work with two inch plates so here Here you have your standard Rogue 2 inch plate and it doesn't work. It does not work. Let me show you. Very slight difference here. So here's the size of this it is just, I don't know if you can see that, 2.011. In inches. When you come over here and measure this, the inside measurement is actually 1.97. Thankfully, I have a metal lathe, so what I was able to do after a being a pain in the ass was turn this down on a metal lathe so that it's actually smaller than the inside diameter. But again, don't you think you want to buy something and it should work? Now this one fits, again, because, let me show you, I got a lathe. All right, so the first thing we have to do here is plug in the machine and uh, go ahead and chuck up this end. Get it in there as good as you can get it. Get your live center set up in here. As good as that can go in. going to do is start cutting toward the collar and we'll get the collar we'll get the, all this taken down we'll get the collar looking good and then we'll flip it around and cut off the end or shave off the end so here here we go <laughs> And it definitely is going to take a while, so we'll go into a time lapse. So 
So let me just say that uh, this really isn't the seller's fault. I mean, the packaging part kind of is the seller's fault. I don't really understand what he was doing there or why the post office charged me extra for that. Um, working with him through Amazon now to try to resolve that. Um, so just moral of the story, don't buy these if you want to use them with bumper plates. And here you can see we got the piece flipped around and making a cut on it to try to get that end down to uh, the same size as the center. And uh, you can see here in my slow-mo here, sliding it into a bumper plate, it looks like it fits pretty well. So mission accomplished, I'm happy. Then you have to jam this thing all the way, this crazy plastic spacer. It looks like it was made on a 3D printer. You gotta get it inside there just right, like that. Then you can tighten up the set screw I think I mentioned this before they give you these little these little like 3d printed looking adapters for this purpose this one's going to go in go together like this And then that will actually sit right in here. And let me show you how it works. So you need to get this on here. And then this thing needs to get in there enough so that it's right on the end like that. Then Grab your little wrench and tighten up the screw. And there you have it. Here's the test fit. Bumper plates slide on there now. And no need for collars. Finally. Thank you very much. With the Olympic 2 inch opening finally fits on your machine. And stays on there. That's the whole reason I bought the stupid things. Perfect.